What's up everybody, Derek here, and today I'm going to be talking about the best motor for your John boat or your two-man bass boat like behind me or anything that you're trying to power up that's going to be, oh, let's say roughly up to 20 horsepower, we'll say, because surprisingly this motor can be up to 20 horsepower. We'll talk about that in a minute, but this is a $500 motor, brand new. I put it together. Now, all of y'all have seen those crazy... Uh, videos of those people from Thailand that go up those canals with those drive motors well that's exactly what that is that is a mud motor that I put on the back of my two-man bass boat total package $500 that I've got in that the Harbor Freight Predator engine which we'll walk over here and take a look at it this is a Harbor Freight six and a half horsepower engine this is the same engine that they put on racing go-karts and all of that good stuff it's a honda clone engine i got it for 150 bucks now this long tail kit that basically bolts up it's got grease all on the inside it clamps it's a two-piece drive shaft here but it clamps right here and then it's got a six and a half inch prop down here this thing actually kind of has a rock guard as well on it but got a bushing in it so this thing all together should be pretty sweet but the cool thing about this, $500 motor, $150 for that, $300 for the, the long tail kit, online, shipped to me, took about a month. That's the only downside. But what's cool about this, with tax, $500, and then you put another $100 into this. I haven't done it yet. This is a stock motor. They've dynoed these, which is crazy. They do it for the go-karts. Seven horsepower is what they typically get out of these motors, even though it's rated at six and a half. So seven horsepower on this thing you go to amazon you get a hundred bucks you get a new carb new intake all that goodies that go into this thing and you've got a nine horsepower all of a sudden so you've got six hundred dollars in an engine that's getting nine horsepower now the crazy side is they've got a stage four kit for these motors it weighs 40 pounds i looked at a 9.9 .9 Coleman weighs 120 pounds. So all together this thing weighs about 50, 60 pounds, somewhere around there. I haven't weighed it, but the motor for sure is 40 pounds. And I fabricated on this thing already. I, I can't ever mess with anything without, but I got a weed eater. And so I took the throttle off. So now I've got an awesome little throttle with great response here. So this thing is stock. I want to take it out here and just run it just a little bit right here just to show y'all what it sounds like and stuff, but it gets an exhaust, all that. But you can rebuild these things and make it a race go-kart that will never blow up, and they've rated them at 22 horsepower. Can, can you imagine a 60-pound motor that has 22 horsepower? The weight-to-horsepower ratio, that is crazy. And a 20-horsepower engine is probably going to weigh at least, at least 200 pounds i would at least guess but this is a lawnmower engine and lawnmower engines parts everywhere for these things and they are cheap and you can keep them running great and if it blows up or you do anything to it go buy another one 150 bucks now if you wanted to buy a five to ten horsepower outboard for your your boat or whatever it's gonna run you at least over a thousand bucks so here's what i've got 650 for the best the bass camp here and the motor almost weight is actually just a little bit less than that but now that I've got the aftermarket kit for this thing to hop it up to a nine horsepower I'm at about 600 bucks into this thing so this is gonna be an awesome little cart but let me start this thing up and just show you how it runs because it's air-cooled and I really don't know yet this thing is gonna fly it is a crazy little boat already all right, just like a gas engine or a lawnmower engine, choke is on. Now, let's see if we can start this thing. First pull. Turn the choke on. gonna go flying down the lake but that's basically it that is this boat in a nutshell 
and why this thing is the best motor for any kind of powering up of anything. And if you want to save some money and you want a ton of horsepower and maybe you want to dump a little bit more, I think the 22 horsepower kit's like 700 bucks. So you get 600 in this and another 700 and you got 20 something horsepower. There ain't no way you're going to go buy a brand new motor. That engine has a warranty. Take it back to Harbor Freight, lifetime guarantee or whatever they've got. I can't remember, but for 150 bucks, you cannot go wrong with that. You can buy another one of the back kits and still save tons of money. So thanks for watching you guys and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one.